Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute SPSCS tutorial series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will show how to run a simple linear regression. For the simple linear regression analysis we will be using this variable here, resources, as the response variable. Resources is an attitudinal item on a 10 point scale with one indicating low levels of agreement and ten indicating high levels of agreement with the following statement we are using up the Earth's resources too quickly. The explanatory variable for our example is age which is the respondents age in years. To carry out a simple linear regression analysis we click on analyze, regression and then linear. So first we find our response variable, which is we are using up the Earth's resources too quickly, the resources variable, click on that, click on this arrow up here, and then we see in the box under the word dependent we have our response variable. To get our explanatory variable we go down to age, click on that, click on this arrow here, and we see that it appears in the box under the word independent or independence. We also want to show the 95% confidence intervals, so we click on statistics, we click on confidence intervals here, and you see that the level that we're given by default is the 95% confidence interval, and then we click on continue, and finally we click on OK. Here we have the output. In this first table we have R square. The R square is obtained by squaring the value of the Pearson correlation coefficient. This value can be interpreted as a percentage. In this case, 3.3% of the variability in the variable resources is explained by the variability in age in the sample. In the table down here we have the values for the estimates p-values and confidence intervals for the intercept and for the slope. The value for the intercept is 4.170. The estimate for the slope, the regression coefficient, is 0 0.023. This value means that for every additional year in age, the scores of the response variable, there is a statement that says that we are using up the Earth resources too quickly, will increase 0 0.023 on a 10 point scale. We also have the standard error for the slope and for the intercept. We have the standardized value for the slope. We have the t statistics and we have the p values. Here we have the p-value for testing the hypothesis that the regression coefficient is equal to zero in the population. This value is very small, which means that there is enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis, and we accept that in the population the regression coefficient is different from zero. The value for the regression coefficient in the population ranges between 0 0.005 and 0 0.042 for a 95 confidence interval. 